knows where um, Tajikistan is. Anybody? Nice. So how do you think we communicate? Did it feel the same way in terms of three people working together? When you're playing in an orchestra, that music is just like a bond, almost a spiritual bond. Let's try and find ways to um, locate the deep feelings within ourselves and within our communities, and how can we share that with others? So much of Persian music has to do with poetry and music, right? Everything, you have to know the poetry to, to actually know the music. originated, I mean, you, you just saw some of the instruments that um, some of the people from Iran brought, how it evolved and changed the cello, and just how everything started off. People several hundred years from now are going to look back at our music and think almost the same things that we're thinking about this Persian music, and they're going to, you know, it's just going to be a continuous cycle that goes on because we're always going to remember our past and know that we need to keep some things the same and some things need to change. Just, you know, being able to play the piano and get all your emotions out, it, that's really fun. You know, when I, I come home from school and, you know, you're stressed out and tired and you don't, you're kind of grumpy and instead of, you know, taking it out on your sister or something like that, you can go bang on the piano and kind of express your emotions there and, you know, as Yo-Yo Ma said, Shostakovich, when his friend died, he kind of resorted to piano as a way of expressing his serene feelings and his sorrow. And I think it's a great medium through which you can express yourself and your feelings and just get it all out. somebody you can see what you know that kind of communication you know what's happening and obviously when you use your ears um, you can react instantaneously and you can't do anything without an imagination and that's 
Um, and I think those are, those are the great commonalities. I think, um, did anybody bring an instrument here today? Anybody? Uh, what, did you bring an instrument? Oh, you have a violin, okay. Um, did you bring, yeah, okay. And you, what did you bring? That's your violin? Oh, okay, okay. Stay a while because we have a young friend who might like to play something for us. Tell me, um, come on up. Okay. Tell me what your name is. Zaki. Zaki. What is it? What do you? What is this that you're playing? Uh, I play the violin and I'm going to play Brandenburg Concerto Number Three. Brandenburg Concerto Number Three. Colin, do you know any of the Brandenburg? G major. Okay. <laughs> classical music because it just it's just so smooth and when you listen to rap or hip hop it's like all um, blah 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 and but when you listen to classical music or when you listen to just nice music it just it soothes your soul really well. It's awesome, I love it. legs were shaking the whole time. Thank goodness I was wearing pants. They were just vibrating really violently. It's very hard to take different, not different pieces of music, but different styles of music and putting them together at the same time because it really usually doesn't sound very united sound of all different but this one sounded much more united than most if, if you put a rock and a pop and a classical together it would not sound right but the way they did it it just sounded perfect I thought it was really fun how they, they expressed all their emotions and their facial expressions and they you know, looked back at each other and kind of bounced off themes and I thought that was really fun and like exciting to hear.
Yours and your entire group's presence here today speaks for itself and for your tremendous enthusiasm in reaching out to help, inspire, and introduce the art of classical music to the younger generation, for which we are all grateful. And we thank you.